So as we saw yesterday on Sunday, we woke up to this horrific uh, act of violence that took place in Orlando, Florida. And I would say our entire community is still reeling from those events, both on a national level, on a state level, on a, the city and county level. And um, when it occurred, immediately I called out to our city and county folks to see what we could do. And we helped have a visual last night um, that many people attended and you covered. Um, just to show, uh, allow their emotion to come out. Um, and tonight, we're going to be lighting up the Honolulu Hale uh, in the rainbow colors to say that everyone, every life matters. That no matter what minority you come from, every minority matters. It's what makes our country the great country that it is, and it really is what makes this city and county of Honolulu a fantastic place where there's no one one race in the majority. We're all minorities and yet we live well together. And I wish the rest of the country could follow our great example. But I wanted to assure people of a couple things. As you know, the city and county of Honolulu ranks as one of the safest big cities in the United States of America. And we are a big city when you count the million people who live in the city and county of Honolulu. In terms of violent crime, one of the safest. In terms of gun violence, we rank as number one in terms of being safe. The least amount of gun violence of any major city in the country. We have very strong gun control laws, some of the strongest in the country, and I think that's part of the reason. But I also do give a lot of the credit to our men and women in blue, the Honolulu Police Department officers. Um, they do a great job every day all around this island. Most of the time, we don't know what they're doing. Most of the time, we don't know the heroic acts that they perform. But every day we are making, they are making sure that we are safe as we go about our life in this city, to our jobs and having fun. And I think it's also why our tourist industry is booming. It has been booming because people come here knowing that it's safe. In other parts of our country, it's not as safe. You go to Europe, it's not safe. You go to Asia, it's not safe. There is bombings and terrorist attacks. You go to Mexico, violent crime. Here in the city and county of Honolulu in the state of Hawaii, it is safe for visitors to come and that benefits all of us. But also we are safe because of the hard work of our men and women in blue. Now, I called the chief of police yesterday and we talked about this and he reminded me that the Honolulu Police Department on a constant and ongoing basis is practicing for active shooter events, like what happened at this Orlando nightclub. And in fact, our cabinet had active shooter training a couple months ago where they brought in the, the pros from the Honolulu Police Department to tell us how we can protect ourselves should there be an active shooting event in any city facility where we work. And I was blown away by their professionalism and the kind of preparation they have in place. I hope it's never going to be needed here, but we are prepared. And I do believe that events like what we saw unfold in Orlando or other parts of our country are less likely to happen here because of the professionalism of our whole police department and also because we live in an isolated group of islands further away from any other landmass. I did want to emphasize that, you know, in terms of the active shooting training that we went through and that the Honolulu Police Department practices on a regular and constant basis, that 100% of all the police officers, we have about 2,000 police officers, have been trained for active shooter events. So it's not just our SWAT team that's prepared, we have a very prepared SWAT team, but every officer has been trained on what to do should they be involved in an active shooting event that occur, could occur anywhere um, around the island. So the last thing I wanted to leave with, with all of us is, is this, you know, we're going into a cycle now, a campaign cycle on a national level, um, where there's a lot of angry statement, statements made. Um, and at times I think racist statements made, a lack of understanding for different groups of minorities, whether they be Muslim or gay, lesbian or transgendered, or whether they be another minority in our community. And this kind of hateful talk results in actions like we see, it becomes more acceptable. And I ask all of us, starting with us, each of us, starting with me, starting with you, that we remind ourselves that we have to be accepting of all peoples, no matter what their race, no matter what their religion, no matter what their orientation, no matter what their opinions are on any of the controversial 
issues that we face. If we carry that forward, I think the chances for these hateful acts to occur become less. But it's easy today in today's society to go to anger, to go to extremism, to say outrageous things because it gets attention and it's easy to understand, but it results in these kinds of acts. So I ask ourselves, please respect each other and be careful on how we talk. We can get involved in controversial issues, but we can talk about it from our heart, trying to understand where the other person stands. If we do that, we'll be a better community. I think the city and county of Honolulu is a better community because we do practice that on a regular basis. And I wish the rest of the country would follow.